actress Conchata Farrell tragically passed away on October 12th after complications following a cardiac arrest. The Two and a Half Men star was 77. Farrell might have been best known as Berta, the no-nonsense housekeeper for the Harpers. If the kid doesn't want to go, don't make him go. Yeah. He's 10, he's old enough to work. What? <laughs> but the actress had a long career as an accomplished star of stage and screen, alongside her two supporting actress in a comedy series Emmy nominations for playing Berta. Farrell was nominated for an Emmy for her role as Susan Bloom on L.A. Law. She also appeared in Edward Scissorhands, Mystic Pizza, and the Oscar-winning film Aaron Brockovich, as well as having guest roles on dozens of shows, including The Ranch, Grace and Frankie, Judging Amy, and Touched by an Angel. As a young actress, Farrell cut her teeth as an original member of the off-Broadway Circle Repertory Theater. The theater's founding artistic director, Marshall W. Mason, remembers her early star talent, saying, Conchata Farrell was exactly the kind of artist for whom we created our theater, a deeply honest performer who would inspire our playwrights to create roles for her. She was our first homegrown star. She got a slew of award recognition for her role as Gertrude Blum in Edward J. Moore's The Seahorse, including a Drama Desk Award, a Theatre World Award, and an Obie Award for Best Actress in 1974. Farrell's friends and co-stars have shared emotional posts honoring the beloved actress. John Cryer tweeted, She was a beautiful human. Berta's gruff exterior was an invention of the writers. Chatty's warmth and vulnerability were her real strengths. I'm crying for the woman I'll miss and the joy she brought so many. He remembered Farrell's first day on set, when she wouldn't believe him as he gushed over what a big fan he was of hers, adding, She could have two lines in a scene and walk away with it. I wasn't exaggerating when I said I was lucky every day. Actress Melanie Linsky, who played Rose on Two and a Half Men, tweeted, Lovely, brilliant chatty. I'm weeping. She was the warmest, most gracious lady. Her husband Arnie came to every single taping of Two and a Half Men and sat in the audience, beaming with pride. Her sweet daughter Samantha was often there too. Oh, she was loved. She will be missed. Former Two and a Half Men star Charlie Sheen also took to Twitter to share his condolences, writing, An absolute sweetheart, a consummate pro, a genuine friend. Berta, your housekeeping was a tad suspect. Your people-keeping was perfect. Fans have also chimed in remembering Farrell. One tweeted, Crushed to hear about the loss of Conchata Farrell, an incomparable character actress. We'll all be thankful for the many laughs Farrell has given us throughout the years. I have to take care of my body because it's my instrument. Mine too. Three beers and a bratwurst and my ass turns into a French horn. Of course, it isn't just celebrities and fans grieving the comedy icon. Conchata Farrell is survived by her husband, Arnie Anderson, and daughter, Samantha. Anderson also worked in Hollywood behind the scenes as a sound mixer. In addition, he was a professor who taught sound mixing at Los Angeles City College. Anderson and Farrell were married for decades, though they became a family well before they exchanged vows. In an interview with the Chicago Tribune in 1991, Farrell revealed that she and Anderson didn't tie the knot until seven years after they started dating, when their daughter Samantha asked them to. According to People, Farrell was surrounded by her family in her final days. Farrell was inspired to go into acting by her father, Luther Farrell. He was a West Virginia factory worker, and though he felt lucky that he didn't have to work in the coal mines, he advised his daughter to choose a job that she loved. While Farrell got her college degree in education, after appearing in a comedy review, she was inspired to move to New York City and pursue a career on the stage. Her prodigious talent led to her success on stage and eventually on screen, as she told the AV Club in 2014, I mean, I fulfilled my dad's desire for me. I love what I do. 